So barely over a week ago, Funko revealed the images for the brand new Sun and Moon Funko action figures and these dudes were literally amazing. The minute we saw the images, it was definitely one of the best Funko action figures I think we have ever gotten. Like, look at these two, you cannot tell me they look amazing. Compared to the in-game renders, these dudes look amazing. And they came out in some stores, so you know what I had to do? Go on eBay, it, it was the only way I could get it. So I was able to go on eBay and find both of them to the same listing and the same seller and as you guys can see it's brand new in box i did have to pay 17 dollars each instead of the usual 13 but it's only a few bucks more for early access so whenever let's do a video on it early you know what that means it's a win-win anywho without further ado let's just go open up one of them and i'm gonna open up moon because he's my favorite animatronic if you look at my channel banner you're gonna see him there it's it's literally amazing as you guys can see the box art for it all is is exactly the same as all the Funko Security Breach ones. It says here, Security Breach, and the bottom it says Moon, but if you turn it around, you can see Funko adds some brand new different uh, warnings or stuff like that to the back of the box. And also, uh, right next to all the other terrible looking action figures to Security Breach, we got here the two best Sun and Moon action figures. I'm definitely surprised they didn't make this an exclusive, because I felt like they could have made this an exclusive and added an exclusive to like Walmart or GameStop. I feel like they would have probably done that, but they know that Moon is the part popular characters so they're probably like you know maybe let's not make him exclusive but let's go and open this guy oh wow he's, he's tough he's tough right now let's just hope he doesn't you know uh rip or anything like that we got him out of the box here he is now in the flesh you can see in the back all the nice detailing and designs just look at that oh i cannot wait to get to that but now what we're gonna have to do first is of course is snippity snip snip gotta snip and be careful with all the eh, different little strings around. It's gonna take a long time. Let's snap, snap. Okay, we got every single one of them all gone, and let's go take Moon out of the box. Look at this. We got Moon here out in the box. <laughs> he just fell over. Wow. Okay, let's just go put all this back in the box. So we have here Moon in the flesh or in the robotics. Don't know what you're actually going to call it. But as you guys can see here, this is the Moon action figure. And my oh my, is this definitely the best Funko action figure I've ever seen. First of all, I think it has one of the most posability of the one of the most exposable action figures Funko ever made, but still don't know yet. Surprisingly, this figure is a lot bigger than I actually thought. I was expecting it to be smaller, yet it was bigger, which with which is actually pretty amazing. When it comes to the texturing, all the details they put into this, it's really good. As you guys can see with the whole head and face, it has all the nice withering details, the smile, the mask. You can see the two different eyes and also the moon hat. Everything is just perfect. They did a great job on it. And also you guys can see here in the back. And this is how the back of the head looks. And they even did back molding with the circuit. And as you guys can see, it's almost exactly like in the game. Like Funko always messes up Freddy's upper teeth. And yet they made this action figure spot on to the actual model got all the screws here all the different withering they added to it i'm definitely surprised also the whole head is on one ball joint just like a regular i think action figure but you can see it's able to go fully up and it just looks weird and cursed like i mean look at that is just yeah i know that's how he looks when he's like swimming in the air you know when he's doing his little swimming in the air motion this could act like that it, it is pretty cool but the one thing i want to know okay see you could turn the head like that like he does in the game let me try to focus he keeps on focusing he could turn his head like fully 360 like his weird turn he always does but when he's down can he do that no when he's down he cannot twist the head you could twist it a little bit but it has to be up to fully twist which in my opinion kind of sucks they should have added another joint for that but it's okay it's a perfect action figure we can't ask for much and as you guys can see here his whole body also has all the joints the same ball joints as it has within every single one of his uh you know hands and as you guys can also see here if the camera can focus you can see the hands also have great detail it also has another little mini joint in the hand allowing it to go up or to go down so you're able to pose it like that too as you can see here they did add the withering a little like this focus come on that is you can see the withering in the hands and all the detail they put into this you can see the little bells there too the blue light and all the little well not blue lights but you know the blue coloring the fade to it all and all the details on it it's just it's just amazing both the hands are of course the same but it looks really great even the whole little buttons here and the whole top body he even has at the back the string but it does not have a hole in there but you could poke a hole, drill a hole if you really want to make him on the string or put him on the string. Of course, the legs in the back looks pretty cursed with, you know, 
the way it is. Yes, it does add more pos possibility. Like, he can run at you with, like, I don't know. If you want to make it like that, it could look like he's running. But it's still not focusing. It could look like he's running from you. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't look that good. You can see in the back, it doesn't look that good. But at the front, it looks pretty good. I do like Of course, it would have been weird if it wasn't there. And I think they, I don't know if they could have found another way. But it's okay, in my opinion. We're not all displaying it from the back. The printing detail still look amazing. And even on the shoes, the whole moon looks amazing and all the different withering on the whole top boots it just looks amazing i love it it does say 2023 edition and they should be popping up definitely sooner or later in stores but now it's time to review the next one and of course the next one also can he sound back yeah you can the next one is sun okay so now that we got here suno sunaru let's go and open up sun literally the exact same thing just says sun in the front but i do like sun and moon they're both amazing ice figures but i think i do like moon more but let's go open this up Okay, now that the sun is open, let's go and do the whole snippity snip snip. Okay, it's all snipped down. Let's go open up sun and let's go see sun. Look, sun can stand. Let's go. We won, guys. We have won. As you guys can see here, this is Sun. A little bit less detailed than Moon is, but still a pretty great figure. So let's go and actually look at all those details, starting with the face. So as you guys can see, this is Sun, and the details on the face is still really good. I love the withering design they did to it. And as you guys can see, without having the whole entire, you know, uh, Sun, I mean the Moon hat, they just have the whole Sun, different arrays of Sun. Sun can also do the exact same thing Moon can with the whole head thing. And also, Sun can still do the whole twisting thing on top, which is still really nice. But when you put it down below, Sadly, some cannot do that. They could, uh, some could to twil tw tilt their head back and forth, which is pretty cool. As you guys can see, the hands, it's like, it's literally the same axe figures. The hand could go up and down, but it's a little bit less than what Moon could do. And as you guys can see, it's literally just the exact same body. All I did was just change the coloring. When it comes, and also the molding for Moon. Was it always a Moon down here? I'm curious about that. Was it always a Moon? Was it supposed to be a Sun? Oh no, it has a Sun on one side. How did I not see that? How did I not see And as you guys can see here, the whole paint still have the same problem but you know it's okay and i think it's molded in there or unless it's like textured in there i think it's just like stickers or not stickers i think it's printed on there but in a really good way it looks better than the stars doing you know moons i do like this different color range there and also the whole withering they also did here too was really good and some some reason my sun act figure seems a lot more poseable oh Okay, I did not expect that to happen, but yeah, Sun is a little bit more loose than what Moon. And also, when you look in the back, it has the exact same little posing thing, so you're able to go and uh, pick up Sun. And also, as you guys can see here, the whole circuit boards in the back looks a lot more detailed, not covered by a hat. You could definitely go and see all the detail they put into that, and this is absolutely insane what they went, the lengths they went with. And you guys can see here, it's a pretty thin head, but at the end of the day, it's a pretty big axe figure, and for 13 bucks would be the retailer price, it is not bad at all. So that is the brand new Sun and, uh, I guess, action figure. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do think about this. Tell me what you like about both of them. I really do love both of these. This is definitely my top two, my best favorite action figures that I think Funko have ever made. And I definitely, I'm extremely happy that I have them now. And stay tuned because sooner or later in the stores you're going to see them pop up. You can try to look on eBay for them, but I don't see anyone really selling them. I did the whole entire news video, barely even two weeks ago, talking about this. So, you know, look at that. Now they're in hand. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do think. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye and sleep time. Do not like. I mean moon. Why, why, why did I say dream? I said dream for some reason.